In the previous videos, we learnt a few properties of operations on rational numbers. The closure property, the commutative property, the associative property, zero and identity properties. There are a few more extremely simple properties we need to understand. Let us start with the concept of additive inverse. It is one of the simplest concepts in mathematics. If a plus b equals zero, then a and b are additive inverses of each other. That's it. Let's look at numbers now. So if 2 by 5 plus minus 2 by 5 equals 0, then 2 by 5 is the additive inverse of minus 2 by 5. And minus 2 by 5 is the additive inverse of 2 by 5. So if we are asked the additive inverse of a non-zero rational number, all we have to do is change its sign. Additive because of the plus sign here and inverse since the sign is changed. Let's move on to another simple property. It's called the distributive property. The distributive property is very straightforward, but you will remember it better if you see these two examples. Look at this expression. 2 multiplied by 3 plus 4. 3 plus 4 can be written as 7 and 2 multiplied by 7 gives us 14. Else, we can also write this expression as 2 multiplied by 3 plus 2 multiplied by 4. 2 times 3 is 6 and 2 times 4 is 8. The expression will equal 6 plus 8 which also equals 14. Both ways gives us the same answer. Let's focus on the second method. In variable terms, we can write it as a multiplied by b plus c equals a multiplied by b plus a multiplied by c. Let's look at a similar example. We are asked to evaluate 2 multiplied by 3 minus 2. 3 minus 2 is 1 and therefore we can write it as 2 multiplied by 1 which equals 2. Can this expression be written in another way? We can also write this expression as 2 multiplied by 3 minus 2 multiplied by 2. That equals 6 minus 4 which is 2. How do we write this in variable terms? We can write it as a multiplied by b minus c equals a multiplied by b minus a multiplied by c. And here's the last property. For any rational number, multiplication by its reciprocal or division by itself will always result in a 1. What does this mean? Assume we have a rational number a. Multiplying it with its reciprocal means multiplying it with 1 by a. a cancels out and we get a 1. And if we divide a by itself, we get a 1. Remember, multiplication by its reciprocal and division by itself will always result in a 1. 